Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let's solve today the lead code question 46, permutations. Basically, given a collection of distinct integers, return all possible permutations. I will not lie, it's quite challenging, but it's a very interesting problem and it's very useful to know how to solve it. Um, let's, let me show you how we're going to do it. So to store our result value, which we're going to return in the end, Let's have the linked list of lists or linked list of array lists. Um, so let's declare it. Probably let's just call it result. And yeah, it's equal to the new linked list of lists. And probably somewhere in the end we are going to, to return it once we do all our permutations and we find them. Um, let's declare another variable uh, to keep track of what's the current size of the result. But for now, it's just the empty linked list, right? So let's add our first new R list inside. Just the empty one, nothing special. Okay, we add the, we add the empty R list. Now let's do some proper stuff. Let's iterate... Uh, through all the numbers uh, from the input array. So, okay, we're iterating. Um, okay, now let's check what's the current result size. And while this, we have some elements inside, right? So while error size is greater than zero, of course, somewhere in the end we will need to do air size minus minus, otherwise we will never escape from this level. So while this condition applies, we are going to use one very nice function uh, which the linked list has. And this function is called pull first. So it basically just removes the first element from the linked list or basically removes the head of the linked list. Uh, and also, while well, we will remove it, we will also store it and we will call it permutation, so... Which is just result dot oh, first. Very useful function. Okay, we took the head, so remember, initially we just added the empty array list, right? We took the head and right now we are going to iterate through all the elements from this permutation. And remember, we just added an empty array list, so there are no elements there at the moment, so it's just empty, right? That's why we need to do iOS or recode and permutation dot size and i plus plus. So we are starting we start our uh, iteration. Okay, there's nothing initially inside the permutation. However, we need another permutation. We need a new permutation. Okay, it will start to make sense very soon, guys. Don't worry. So we declare a new permutation. And basically, this new permutation is just the copy of this permutation. So we put, we create the copy of the permutation. Okay, again, guys, it initially was just, you know, empty array list. We took it from the result, right? So result doesn't have any values right now at all. We took it from the result and we create a new permutation. Okay, why do we need this new permutation? We need it because we're going to add a values to this new permutation. So basically, what we are going to do is we will take, you know, you know, imagine that's the input array. We take first number from the from the input array, right? We took the first value, then you know we just add it to our result. We add this value to our result. 
Then we are going for the next iteration, right? We are taking the next number, number two. We are creating a new permutation. You know, so we are taking just this array list, which has only one number. And then like, while we, while we are iterating, so i is less or equal than one, so we will go like, you know, twice. So when on the first iteration, i is equal to zero, i is equal to zero, we just, you know, add uh, a num to a specific index, so index i. So, and the num is equal to two, so initially we just add two in the beginning, then the next iteration we add uh, two on index one, because i becomes equal to one on the next iteration, and you know, and we add this two permutation to the result, and then we are, we will go on the next iteration, we will consider number three, and we will just, you know, add three to all the possible places. Uh, basically, system out of print ln. And that's how we are going to solve this task, guys. So, just new. You know, so, the first permutation, then, you know, uh, then the second one, and then, you know, we add number three to all the possible places, and then in the end we get all our permutations. So we stop, you know, we solve the sub-problems, and then we solve the main problem while we are iterating. Uh, simply as that, guys. So, a very interesting problem, in my opinion. Lead code question 46. We got a very good results, we solved this question, however, it's not them, guys. I will ask you to do a homework, guys. So, I show you how to do this question uh, iteratively. Now your task to do this question recursively. So, if you have any questions, please write in the comments below. But try to do this question recursively yourself, and you will become a very good lead coder if you will manage to do it. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, and see you later.